So we've been talking about macromolecules and how they contribute to our diets. We want to know how many carbohydrates are in the food item, lipids, proteins, and so forth. We also talked about calories. Calories are a unit of energy, basically meaning the more calories something has, the more energy it'll provide you. So the purpose of the lab that we're going to do is we're going to be looking at a Cheeto and a marshmallow. And we're going to see if the facts on the back of their nutrition labels are actually factual. Does the amount of calories in each item correspond to what we find in the lab? Does the amount of carbohydrates, proteins, lipids, which are fats, also correspond to what we find in the lab? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the nutrition labels of a Cheeto versus a marshmallow. As you can see, the Cheeto is set to have 160 calories per serving, and then the marshmallow is set to have 80 calories per serving. So given what we know about calories, and calories is a unit of energy, the more calories you have, the more energy you're going to burn. Let's think about it. If we set both of these food items on fire, which one do you think is going to burn the longest? Which one do you think is going to have the largest change of mass once we're done burning them? Before we get started, I want to show you the materials that we're actually going to use during the lab. You need one Cheeto puff, one jumbo marshmallow, one cork stopper, an extended paper clip wire, a lighter, a scale, and you also need a timer, which is on my phone, so I'm not going to show that right now. The first thing that we need to do in order to see how much the food items, how many calories the food items have burned is we have to measure how much they weigh initially, meaning what do they weigh right now before we set them on fire. So we're going to use our scale. And just like every scale, you got to make sure it's at zero. If it's not, you hit the T. All right, and then we're going to get the initial mass in grams of each of these food items. So we're going to place our Cheeto puff. And you can see that's about 2.3 grams. So we're going to write that down in our data table. That's under initial mass. All right, we're going to take the Cheeto puff off. And then we're going to go ahead and put our marshmallow. And we have 9.4 grams for the marshmallow. So now for the fun part. Here you can see we have a Cheeto, which is poked through by a paper clip, and that paper clip is stuck inside of a cork. This is simply to keep everything safe so the fire stays extended in the air and is not on the actual surface to where it can catch on the fire. We're going to set this Cheeto on fire, and then once we set the Cheeto on fire and it starts burning, we're going to record how long it takes for the fire to actually stop burning. So I have my phone timer over here. Once I light the Cheeto fully, I'm going to start my timer. So I've started my timer and we're just going to let the Cheeto burn. As you can see, it's a very aggressive, very bright fire. It'll stop on its own, so we'll just let it keep burning and burning and burning. There's a lot of oils, a lot of fats in this Cheeto, which makes this fire look very awesome. And we'll end it right about now. Now we're going to repeat the same procedure for the marshmallow. We're going to set it completely on fire, and then we're going to record how long it takes to burn. All right, so the marshmallow has to be completely on fire before you start recording. So let's go ahead and start. All right, so that's on fire. I'm going to go ahead and start the timer. And there's some things you can notice about the fire here. It's not as aggressive. All right, and now the fire is starting to get much smaller very quickly compared to the Cheeto. And the flame is officially out. So we're going to stop the timer there. So the Cheeto, we recorded at 57.5 seconds. And then the marshmallow, we recorded 36.79 seconds. But now let's show this and change the mass. We're going to measure the final mass of each burnt food item and subtract that from what it weighed before we set it on fire. So let's do the Cheeto first. We're going to go ahead and put our burnt Cheeto on there, and it reads 0 0.3 grams. All right, now let's weigh our burnt marshmallow. That weighs 8.0 grams. We're going to record both of these final masses in our data table and then subtract it from the initial mass. So now let's look at our data table since we collected all the data points. From the time, we see that the Cheeto took 57.5 seconds to burn, while the marshmallow took 36.79 seconds to burn. 
You'll so when you subtract the Cheeto from the marshmallow, you'll see that the Cheeto burned 20.71 seconds longer than the marshmallow did. So that does support that the Cheeto has more calories than the marshmallow. So then we looked at mass to kind of confirm what we found with time. So you'll see that the Cheeto's final mass was 0 0.3 grams. And we, got, we subtracted the initial mass from that, which is going to give us a negative number at 2.0 grams. That means the Cheeto shrunk, got less, subtracted 2.0 grams from its initial mass, and that's how much it changed. We did the same thing for the marshmallow. We took the final mass, which was 8.0 after it burned, and subtracted 9.4 from it before it burned. That was the mass. And you can see that the Cheeto only changed 1.4 grams, meaning it shrunk, it got less, it subtracted 1.4 grams at the end of the experiment. So this also solidifies that a Cheeto does in fact have more calories than a marshmallow does.